hey guys welcome to chat with your girl kst it's your girl k and today we are talking about vengeful people now what is a vengeful person what does it mean to be vengeful to be vengeful according to google is seeking to harm someone in return for a perceived injury i would love to highlight the word here that says perceived so people who try to avenge something that they feel is an injury to them perceived they're the ones who perceive it as an injury so it doesn't have to be a literal thing just something that according to their perspective they were some way shape or form slighted so they're trying to be vengeful now vengeful people i feel like are very dangerous people i feel like they're filled with hate they're filled with malice they're filled with a lot of negativity low vibrational things that i just feel like i don't like to succumb myself to but let's say you are someone that is dealing with a vengeful person how would you deal with that person i have one single advice to you do not stoop to their level and continue to be the light it's nothing that a vengeful person will hate more than watching you not stoop to their level but also watching you not be affected by their little manipulative tactics to pull you down you continue to stay up and you ignore them oh my god that's gonna eat them alive when I say it's gonna eat them alive, because in in their heads, you shouldn't be happy. In their head, you shouldn't be living your life free without any problems. So the fact that you will continue to live your life free, problem free at that, oh my God, it's gonna give them chest pains. It's gonna give them headaches. And that's what we're gonna do. We're going to give them headaches and chest pains by not stooping to their levels. We're keeping our lives problem free by not retaliating or being upset about the vengeful people. Now, some examples of vengeful people would be a vengeful ex, you know, somebody who feel like a breakup wasn't supposed to happen or the way that it happened, it wasn't supposed to happen that way. Um, you see sometimes with the baby mom, they get upset with their baby father. So they try to um, keep the kid away from the, from the father. Some women, they'll go out as far as to key your car. Some men, they will sleep with your best friend. Like, it's just a lot of things that people will stoop so far down below just to try to get back revenge and sometimes you haven't even done them wrong and that's the thing with the, the catch-22 is sometimes you really and truly didn't even do these people anything wrong so the fact that you didn't even do these people anything wrong they're just sh sending their blessings your way so don't stoop to their level continue to accept their blessings because that's what happened when we have when we have god not even when god is always looking down and when god is looking down at someone provoke you for absolutely no reason what he will do is he will just turn every single provocation every time they try to provoke you into something into a blessing it happened in the bible where a guy wanted to um always he wanted to trouble the israelites god's people and every time he tried to trouble them it's just he just poured down blessings into their life and turn and god turned every single evil thing that they did into a blessing so understand that when you have vengeful people in your life whether a vengeful friend a vengeful ex a vengeful co-worker a vengeful boss whoever the person is don't stoop to their level let them send you their blessings your way so with that being said i'm gonna head out all right just keep your head high and don't let them get to you good night